day viewers. Um, so while we're really happy with our Denali broadswords, um, the Denali waiting list, it must be admitted, is a bit of a problem. Um, and so we uh, recently ordered a couple of broadswords from Castile Armoury in the US. So let's find out what they are like. So these are the Castile broadswords. We have one Highland hilt and one Mary Rose hilt. Um, so first of all, the blades are are really nice. So you can see the triangular shape gives it a nice distal taper so it really helps with the sort of balance and feel um, of the sword. They're nice and manoeuvrable, they've got a pretty decent amount of flex and although these haven't been used yet, uh, probably by the end of this video they will be, um, we've had Castile blades on other swords, fetters and side swords and things and had no complaints about uh, the quality of their blades. No reason these will be any different. Um, they also come long enough to do silver, so you can get them in any length you like, but it means that you can get a sword that is of perfect length for a tall person, so that is all really, really nice. Um, but of course what makes a broadsword a broadsword is the hilt, so what are the hilts like? Well, first thing to say about them is they're nice and roomy. Okay, as you can see, hopefully, there's lots and lots of space in there around my hand. Um, so I can wear a relatively thick glove and even with a big hand you're not going to be banging into the sides of uh, the hilt at all, um, which is a minor complaint with the Denali swords, is that uh, people with thick hands need to kind of shape them out a little bit more. So no problems there, nice and big. Um, also nice and robust, okay, so the Highland hilt, um, this is fairly substantial steel that it's made from. Um, nice round shape for deflective purposes, got the sword catchers there, nice thick edging there, and being used against a similar weighted sword, um, this should stand up to bashing relatively well. I'm not saying it can't or won't be bashed in and need rewelding at some point, but as far as most basket hills go, uh, they've, they've seemed to have taken robustness fairly seriously. The Mary Rose Hilt is even a little better in this regard in that it has a really nice substantial knuckle bow that you can see there that's nice and thick and that of course is the bit that gets hit the most. So this is going to be a particularly nice robust hilt. Um, the downside of that of course is that the hilts have a lot of metal in them and they're relatively heavy and they've also got quite a big pommel on them as well. Um, so the balance on these things is pretty close to the hilt. So I would say that's about two inches from the hilt, um, which is a little back-weighted for my personal liking, but uh, not ridiculous. Uh, they certainly move well in the hand. They still swing through once you get them going, um, and they're certainly going to turn fast um, moving from inside to outside, so they should be really nice and fast in the riposte. Um, so both of them weigh about the same. I'm going to weigh them on the scales and put that, those stats up for those who are interested. Um, but they feel about the same regardless of the hilt style. Pretty much the same idea. Um, now, despite the amount of metal that goes into the hilt, um, the one issue I would say with them um, is of course that there are big gaps. So if we look in the Highland hilt, you can see there's a big gap around there with my thumb and forefinger they're just waiting to be stabbed through um, this one much the same through there so really they are going to need uh, a thick buff leather liner to go inside at least the front half of the hilt in order to close those gaps off now nothing wrong with that historically there were plenty of relatively open basket hilts and that's how they solved the problem is that they used heavy buff leather uh, to line the inside of the baskets to protect the hand um, so that's really the only sort of minor quibble in the out of the box. You're not probably not going to want to go out and bat with it straight away. You're going to want to put a little bit of extra work in and get that leather liner in there. Um, apart from that, if I compare it to the Denali, um, it's a really, really nice sword. As I say, it's a little lighter, a little bit more back weighted. Um, all of which is good. One of my worries about these was that one of these is being bought on behalf of a 
reasonably lightly built female and I was worried that it might be a little bit too heavy for her. Absolutely no worries on that concern at all. Okay, these are uh, a really nicely weighted sword and are gonna be perfectly good for any size person. Um, so, Castile broadswords, thumbs up. So here are the stats for the Castile broadsword as opposed to the Dinelli broadsword. Um, and you'll see that uh, even though the Castile is technically a little bit heavier than the Dinelli, uh, because uh, the point of balance is so much further back, um, it feels a lot lighter in the hand. Um, it does not feel like a heavy sword at all, and the blade itself is certainly very, very light. Um, so don't, don't let the overall weight put you off. Um, it's really, really nice. Um, the other thing to say is that Castile's customer service is an absolute joy to deal with. They are really incredibly helpful and incredibly diligent um, and have done a fantastic job um, uh, from everything from the initial contact right up to the shipping. Um, really, really wonderful people to deal with. So, and how many armorers can you say that about, honestly? Um, so, big thumbs up for that. Um, and the other thing is I actually got them to make me a couple of spare blades for existing furniture um, and their engineering is absolutely spot on. They, 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 they fit like gloves. They just go straight to the furniture without any issues at all. Um, so if you want something custom made from them, they're really good at that too. Uh, so overall, thank you Castile, you've done a fantastic job. And I have no problem recommending these swords they are really, really good.